so in this video we're calculating the volume of a prism. Now, we know, now that we know what a prism is, we can find the volume of it. Uh, now we're going to use the same formula every single time here. The formula is volume equals area of cross-section times height. Okay. Um, area of cross-section times height. Now what that means for us, remember that the cross-section is the piece of the prism that if you cut it like a birthday cake, everyone would get the same slice. So in this one, the cross-section is this red patch here. In this one, the cross-section is the triangle. And in this one, the cross-section is the circle. So if we know the volume of the, the sorry, the area of the cross-section, and we multiply it by the height, that is, when we talk about height, we're not talking about height like upwards, we're talking about height as in the distance that it goes away from the cross-section. So in this one, the height's actually from here to here. It's where you move your knife along as you cut it. Here, the height is from here to here. Cut, 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 cut is that distance. And the circle, in this case, the height is the actual height. It's from here to here. So there's the cross-section. And your knife moves this way. Cut, 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 cut. Here's our height. Okay, so we can use that same formula to, mold, to find the volume of all three of these shapes. I might just move that over a little bit. Uh, volume equals area of cross-section times the height. Now if I just put some numbers in here, uh, let's say 4 by 3 by 7, let's assume they're all centimetres. Uh, we can calculate the volume of this fairly straightforward. Now the area of the cross-section is the area of this shape. Now that's a rectangle, and you know how to find the area of the rectangle. It's length times width. So in this case, it's 4 times 3. Okay, so the area of the cross-section for this shape is going to be 4 times 3, and then we need to multiply it by the height, and the height is going to be the distance from the cross-section. Okay, you can type that into your calculator. 4 times 3 is 12 times 7, that should be 84. Now remember it's a volume, and volume is measured in the units cubed. So this is going to be centimetres cubed. Okay, so that's uh, the volume of a rectangular prism. We can do the same here with our triangle. I just need to put some units in again. We'll call that 5, we'll call that 6, and it needs a height. Give it a height of 4. Okay, so same formula applies. Volume equals area of cross section. I'll just call it CS for short. Times height. Okay, this time the cross section is a triangle, and you know the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So I'll just write that in base times height divided by 2 times height. This is a bit confusing here because I've got two H's that mean different things. This H means the height of a triangle, and this H means that. I'm just going to call H one H and one H one, just so they don't get too confused here. Okay, so area of the triangle first, base times height divided by two, so five times four divided by two times that height. Okay, that height is six. That's the area that you need to move your, tri your knife along as you move along times 6. Okay, so 5 times 4 is 20, divided by 2 is 10, times 6 should be 60, um, we'll call this metres this time, it's quite a big object, 60 metres, again it's a volume, so it's 60 metres cubed. Okay, uh, this last one here, put some measurements in, call that 10 centimetres, and we'll call this uh, maybe 20 centimetres. Okay, so this object, it's a cylinder or a circular prism, depending on what you want to call it. Um, you can see there's a radius of 10 centimetres on the top here and a height of 20 centimetres. Now, same rules always apply. 
volume equals area of cross section times height. Now remember the area of a circle is pi r squared. Our cross section is a circle, so we need the area of that circle. And we multiply it by the height. Now that's going to be pi. Um, might make our life easy here, 3.14. Uh, you should use the pi button on your calculator when you do this. Times radius squared, so times 10 squared, times height, which is 20. Okay, uh, 3.14 times 10 squared, that's going to be 314. Uh, 0.16 approximately. Uh, you can do that on your calculator and then multiply that by 20. Okay, might just need to use my calculator for that one. Uh, 314.16 times 20. That's 6,283.20. Uh, now they're centimeters, so it's centimeters cubed. Okay, so lesson to be learned here. If you're looking for the volume of a prism, you should know what prisms are now. The formula is always the same, whether it's a rectangular prism, a triangular prism, or a cylinder, which is a circular prism. Volume equals cross-section times height. Write your formula, substitute in your numbers, you've got an answer.